Good morning guys, how's it going? Welcome to a, another video. Um, currently just waiting at my house, waiting for Mike to come pick me up. Um, we're about to head off uh, on another trip. Um, we're going to do an overnighter trip uh, this time, which is quite exciting. Get some more fishing time in um, and also just a chance to sleep under the stars, which is going to be awesome. Um, so we're heading back up to the snowies. Um, we're going to go fish a river that we haven't fished before. We haven't really explored apart from we went on a small hike maybe oh, I'm going to say 10 years ago um, and the river was looked absolutely awesome but we actually never never fished it so uh, we're actually going to go up check it out um, and hopefully get a good solid amount of fishing in today and explore some new area. Um, but uh, as well we're going to probably go and camp um, at another part um, of a different river um, that we've fished plenty of times before which is an awesome awesome river um, so fingers crossed um, we'll get onto some fish um, fingers crossed the weather holds off for us um, but it should be an awesome trip and just as I'm saying that uh, Mike has uh, just arrived coming up our Happy New Year! Happy New Year, Mike. How are you? Very good, very good. Welcome to 2024. Yes, yes, good to be here. We made it. It's been a big 23. Um, forward to it. It's only a few things that'll get me out of bed at 5am on a, on a New Year's Eve morning. And that's the promise of a new fishing location. So um, let's get it. Ow! Let's get it! <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, as, uh, as promised we're going to show you the freshly painted giant trout which is looking pretty good. It's, it's gone a long way from its albino state from, from the last trip so we'll go over and have a quick look. Yeah, it's looking uh, it's looking fresh, what do you think? It's, uh, it's like a big Rapala lure or something. It's actually to commemorate the uh, 50th anniversary of the moving of, of Adamitabi. Um, the original location of, of the town was actually flooded in the making of the Snowy Hydro scheme, scheme to provide water to, to, to the area. So yeah, it's looking, looking good. So we've made it, uh, run into our old nemesis again, the gate. Uh, obviously he wasn't on the map so he didn't know that there was going to be a gate here, but is what it is. Um, we thought, uh, you know, plan B was to fish a little bit uh, further down the road. Um, there's a camp ground there, but it being New Year's Eve is absolutely packed. Um, so we've come back here. Uh, and we're going to hike in again, so I think it's about 2Ks down this road. Um, and then we're just going to hike down to the river and uh, fingers crossed we'll see how, 
how it's flowing. Hopefully there's going to be some fish, but it's a new area, um, new challenge, new adventure. Um, so we're up for an explore. So we're here. Um, we'll probably fish this all day and then we'll hike back up, move down to the campground and camp there for the night. Um, so yeah, we'll see you on the, on the river guys. Hey guys, we made it to the end of that hike. It's looking a little gnarly for a little while. It's getting very, very steep and we're like, ooh, not looking forward to the hike back. And then it sort of leveled out into these beautiful sort of grassy plains. And then we've come across this really, I don't know if you can see it in the background, there's a really nice gorgy area. So we're definitely gonna check that out either today or tomorrow. Um, so yeah, if you can see it over there, we'll get a close up later on. There's a really nice run. Um, so I'll hit that straight up. We might move up river today. And then, um, yeah, really looking forward to, to check you out. The water's moving at a really good level. Um, nice and clear. Nice and clear. We'll be able to do some sight fishing today, I think. That'll be the, that'll be the hope. And um, hopefully get some really good shots for you. What do you reckon, James? I think it looks really good. Like, I'm pretty excited. It's always a, a, a worry when you you have to hike in a long way. You're not, you've never been to the river before. You're not sure what's gonna be at the end, but from the looks of this bit, it looks really good. And as Mike said, it really lends itself to some nice sight fishing today. So as we are walking down, there's plenty of grasshoppers and plenty of uh, dragonflies flying about. And as we're looking over the river, there's, there's a lot of bug life. So fingers crossed, uh, you know, there's gonna be plenty of fish in there and they're gonna be hungry and looking up. So we'll just have to give it a go and See, uh, see how it fishes. Absolutely, we've had a few gambles this, well last year now, haven't we? We, we roll the dice and it's come up red every time. Um, we've, <laughs> every time we've had a, a bigger risky hike in hoping that the river's gonna be okay, it has been okay and it looks like it's hopefully paid off again today. So we'll, um, we'll see how we go. First time a fish out of this river, a little brown, took about four casts, got him there. Not a bad little fish, good omen, good start to the, to the day. Ooh. Try and get this guy out and get him back home. Again, trusty little royal wolf, did the trick. It's normally the, the um, fly I start off with when scoping new areas, because it's such a you know, handy fly to use, very productive and prove the uh, trumps again. There we go. Send him back home. See you, bud. Another river ticked off. Welcome to the snowies. Yep. Oh! <laughs> Damn it. Just a nymph. Yeah. Damn. Did he take the nymph? Yeah. He took the nymph. 
You actually bit it off. Oh man, that was a good fish. Damn it. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the face of heartbreak. <laughs> we saw that fish, didn't we? Or you saw that fish. Yeah, he was, was just... Sort of cruising around and... He was just porpoising in front of I that just, rock. I just tied a new fly on. I thought he might have taken that off with the new new knot, but it was the older older nip knot, so... Oh, Ugh. pays to check your line. Damn. It's all right. Oh, I'll, I'll tie on and try again. Yeah. There's a rise just in front of you. Yep, 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 yep. He's yeah. <laughs> alright. He's alright. Good fish. Fish on the board. Fish on the board. It's not much to him, but he felt a lot bigger than he was. Yeah, he took off. Took off. It's on. Pretty looking fish. Yeah. He dropped the nibs as soon as he got in the net. Did he? Yeah. Good-looking fish. He's a healthy fish in this river. We we started going upstream and weren't having much luck. James caught a couple of fish and we spooked about ten. So we decided to head down this beautiful gorgy looking section to some deeper water. Um, I'll get him back in the water here. And um, and yeah, James saw a fish almost immediately, just cruising around this this big rock here. And um, yeah, this other guy came out of nowhere and and uh, took the nip. So. Yeah, good, good tip from yourself with the, the pink nymph again. Seems it might be the, uh, the, the secret to. secret sauce today. So, yeah, good signs. If you want to have a shot down there, some beautiful looking water. We'll hit these next few few pools down here. So, yeah, good start and good to get good to get on the board in this this new river. This is my first fish in this this river, so pretty excited. Good on you. So we were um, it's a bit slow fishing, so I started pulling up some rocks just to have a look at the nymphs. Um, there's a little nymph there, you can see probably rough size. It's kind of that gold colour I guess. Uh, so that's probably what we're trying to match I guess, so maybe something that's a little bit more gold colour with a black head could start working. But as I um, was lifting up rocks, I found this rock um, and I just noticed it because it was quite um, like almost green in texture. but. I don't know if you can see there, there's like little fossils in the rocks there, like little shells. Um, they've just been imprinted in there, so that's pretty awesome. Shows the age of, uh, of these types of rocks here, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, and the other types of rocks you're seeing around are these bright red ones, which are absolutely uh, gorgeous colours, so um, yeah, it might keep a few and uh, put it in the garden at home. Well, just having a bit of a half time. Half time break here, it's 
It's a hot day, isn't it? It's uh, real warm. It's <laughs> <laughs> we're suffering a little bit trying to keep the fluids up, and I think the fish are, are suffering as well because it's been pretty slow. We've caught one. I've caught one fish. You've caught one fish. One fish and and dropped a dropped a fish fish each as well. So yeah, it hasn't been the the greatest start, but. Um, yeah, we're hoping when the weather cools down a little bit, the fish are gonna gonna pike up a little bit. So we'll see what happens. But at the moment, just trying to to refuel and get some get some energy, yeah. <laughs> get some energy going again. Well, I think um, like we're seeing plenty of fish in the river. Um, they are pretty spooky at the moment, and I think most of them are hugging tight to the slightly deeper deeper water and the uh, yeah slightly you know slower running water i don't think they're keen on expending much energy today same, same as us yes uh yeah. so yeah as mike said hopefully it cools down a little bit and hopefully this evening hatch starts going off um we probably got another you know two hours before that starts happening but uh it's still beautiful country like mm. we're about to head into this gorgeous gorge um it's it's beautiful um and again it's an area we've never been to before so everything we're seeing is new to yeah. us so yeah it and is yeah it is absolutely gorgeous it's normally this gorgy country is very hard to get into but there's a lot of clear walking areas which is which is really nice and and we feel on its day it's it's a really good fishery it's just we've hit this really hot day of the week um but anyway we're here for two two days we're sleeping here tonight so we've got plenty of time to to um, explore and, and, and find the fish. So we'll see how we go for the rest of the day and, and tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Just absolutely went for it. That's the highest I've ever seen fish launch. Let's <laughs> had some rocket fuel for breakfast this time. It's been a long time between drinks. I reckon it's been about about two hours since I've since I've caught a fish. James has just sat on a, a blackberry, so he's going to do well to, <laughs> to keep calm for the next minute or so. Yeah, really nice, healthy fish, but um, oh, still full of beans. Took the little. Uh, I just changed over. Luckily, I. My pink nymph fell off, so I changed over to a, a uh, gold head, and he's, he's taken it straight away. Caught a rock as well. So it seems to be these sort of medium to fast moving pools that are they're sitting in today. I guess it is a hot day, so they're trying to get as much oxygen as possible. Um, but that was exciting. That, that almost made the day for me, that, that launch. <laughs> I've seen a fish jump that high out of the water. I've been deep sea fishing for tuna and, and things like that, and that was that was more exciting to me. 
<laughs> especially after the day we've had so far. Yeah. <laughs> it's been pretty rough, but I mean, pretty cool. We're basically fishing a gorge for kilometers and it's, it's really, really awesome. Um, I'll definitely be coming back if, if for nothing else but the hike. It's, it is gorgeous here, so um, yeah, stay tuned. We'll, we'll have another probably overnighter here at some stage down the track, but yeah, happy to get that one. Yep. Same fish. <laughs> that rock. Get away from that rock. Get away from that rock. There's so many rocks. A bit better. That's like a good fish. Slightly longer, yeah. Why is it? That one? Oh, that's cool. That's okay. <laughs> I was just coming back to get the tripod, and then <laughs> next minute you're on. Yeah, straight after, one cast after the other. Tides might be turning. He's a nice fish. Slightly longer than the other one, not as good condition, and but he put up a hell of a fight. Cruising up and down the river, he's trying to get me under all the preceding rocks that lead up to the, the head of the rapid there. But um, yeah, really, really nice fish. They're slightly bigger on average in this, this river. Um, slightly, slightly better condition. Uh, they might have another year on them versus the the river that we fished the other day, but yeah, really cool. I'll just get this nymph out. Again, he took the the gold the gold nymph, and he has not completely swallowed it, but I'll get him out here. Just goes to show finding that little nymph under that rock. That's right. And yeah, matching that nymph has worked. Yeah, and it's absolutely worth the change sometimes as well. Like as I said. I did lose that, that pink nymph and I was, I was going to stick onto that for the rest of the day purely because I caught my first fish on the pink but the simple simple change up really paid dividends so I'll give him a quick release just because the water is a bit warmer a little bit more tired than he would normally be he's a nice looking fish though I'm going to go for a quick release Jonesy Off you go, mate. He's just gonna sulk down there for a little while, wondering what the hell happened to his peaceful little side of the rock there. Phew. Good job. Good one. Bow. How are you feeling? I am knackered, absolutely knackered. Uh, and I know I have, we have a massive hike ahead of us. So, I mean, this area is absolutely amazing. Uh, it's gorgeous. I had no idea a place like this uh, existed in this area. So it, was, it was amazing. Um, fishing, there's fish. Uh, fishing was a bit tough today, I think, because of the heat. Mm. Um, it's very warm today. Mm. Um, so I feel like a lot of the fish just sort of shut down. So made it very tricky. We did get some fish, but uh, 
yeah, not the not the numbers that we uh, we were hoping for, but that's okay. You have days like that when you go fishing, so yeah. At least we know new area explored. Yeah, I feel like we made the most of our chances. Like we hooked more than more than we lost, and we spooked a few fish, but by and large, it, it's just just one of those days, and, and that happens. But check out the area we're in. How cool is that? So just just really cool to walk around and, and as we said before we haven't seen this area before so really cool to explore. We know this area has definitely has potential so we'll try again tomorrow. This is just day one of, of day two um, so we might head the other way along this river and see if that provides but um, yeah we're off to off to set up camp and cook a delicious dinner. So I'll see you there. See you guys. All right, good morning. We um, had a bit of rain last night, so a little bit worried we get get drenched in the tent, but it uh, it worked out okay. The plan was originally to hit the other uh, stretch of the river, but the hike yesterday kind of kind of killed us, um, and we woke up pretty sore and sorry this morning. So plans <laughs> plans have changed a little bit, and we're going to try a, a, a different area this morning, just because I don't think our legs will will make it back today. That's okay. Different, different day too, <laughs> and and hopefully with with this rain and the the changing conditions a little bit, the fish will fire up a little bit. But but we'll see how we go. Yeah, fishing was tough uh, yesterday. Um, I think it was just too hot. Um, we definitely felt it. Uh, hence why uh, we're not uh, up for doing that hike again. That was absolutely brutal. But uh, that's all right. It uh, lends us to some opportunities to explore some other water. So I think we're going to go fish. Uh, another river we've fished before, but um, uh, normally produced pretty well. So, fingers crossed, it's a little bit cooler today. Um, with a little bit of the rain, it's kind of fired the fish up a little bit. And uh, yeah, fingers crossed. Catch you there. So just same old, same old. Just realized I forgot my net as well. Oh, it's on the back. Um, just a dry dropper rig. Um, the Royal Wolf on the top and a, and a Copper John at the bottom. It's always a good sort of starting point, I think, just to sort of scope the area, see what's working, see what's not working. And this looks like a good little run to start off with as well. Oh. Yep. Oh, yeah, baby. It's a good fish. Brownie. Yeah. Got one there. It's just to your right. Oh, I've got it right behind me. Hey. <laughs> it's a good fish. Yeah, he's a good fish. Yeah. What? Full of beans. Alright, not a bad little brown on the on the first run. Really nice colours on him and, and a pretty good fight for a brown of this size as well, so 
he um, he just he took the dry off the top. I did not even see him take the dry. Must have been a very very subtle subtle take, but um, yeah, pretty happy with that to get get started. And glad we didn't try that <laughs> that other part of the river again. I'm glad we moved to this section. Worth the payoff. All right, let's go. Splash the little rainbow, taking the dry. Just had to be a fish in there. Yeah, it was very fishy. Come on, buddy. Good to see the dries working today. Yeah. Ooh. Gorgeous, healthy rainbow. They're very um, got very good condition to them. Beautiful fish. Send you home, buddy. Thanks. Okay, it's been pretty quiet. We just noticed a little bit of a, a mayfly hatch, so tied on yellow mayfly imitation there. If you can see that. So hopefully that entices the fish. It has been pretty quiet. We've only caught one each and persist with the, the nymph as well so just come to down to a little bend run here so we'll give this a go. Yep.
backup plan came together a little bit. He took the, the nymph. I changed to a little sort of red-bodied gold head nymph, and he seemed to seemed to like that one. It's pretty shallow along here. This is about the only stretch for a, quite a while that's got any sort of depth to it. So yeah, I'm glad we glad we picked one up out of here. But um, yeah, nice looking. That's an example of a little rainbow. <laughs> Don't know if I'm about to get this no, yeah, here we go. You want to try and pass the loop to me and I'll see if I can pull it through? It'll be okay. Uh, it? It's a good fish. Brown. <laughs> you want to hold the rod? <laughs> Do you want me to hold the line? Yeah. <laughs> Good teamwork. Teamwork. <laughs> Good job. Good fish. Good job, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> He's a nice fish. Didn't even see that or feel it. He just just lifted the rod randomly and he was he was attached. Get him out. Okay. Yeah, he's a nice fish. Very subtle take. Mm. Very subtle take. Really good example of a brown trout out of this river. Really nice and healthy. Thick shoulder on him. Lovely. Thanks guys, that's it for another another adventure from us. Uh, not quite the fishing that we wanted this trip, but still nonetheless it was awesome. Awesome to do some hikes, see some of this high mountain country. Still got a couple of fish, which is good, just a bonus on these types of trips. But uh, I think it's just getting too warm now, uh, both for fish and fishermen. Uh, so I think we're just going to uh, make our way back to the car, head home, have a nice cold beverage when we get back. Um, but yeah, thanks for tuning in guys. Um, yeah, no, thank you. It was a really, this mission was all about scoping out a, a new river, which we did, and we saw that it had, had potential, and we'll certainly be back, and uh, we'll have a game plan for next time. But um, as James said, just too hot these last couple of days for the, for the fish to fire up. And when it's too hot for us, we definitely know it's too hot for the fish. So we'll head back now and have a shower and uh, have a cold one. Good. <laughs> Thanks guys. If you liked the video, remember to like and subscribe. Definitely helps our channel out a lot. So, till next time guys, take care.